Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm The Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So today we're going to talk about what is new at the Dollar Tree. And I feel like I need a deep breath to talk about this. Let's all take a deep breath together. So what is new at the Dollar Tree? They have nipple cream and panty spray. So, the, indeed they do. And I'm going to show you a little tour of the store so that you can uh, check out the items that they had. And uh, then I will show you what I got. So, but I went to the store because my mom wanted to get, she needed paper clips, rubber bands, garbage bags, and something else. Yeah, she, oh, and those, those crossword, circle of word puzzles. So she needed some stuff from the Dollar Tree. And so I figured it'd be a good way to get out and about, you know, and see if there was anything that I wanted to pick up because it's only $1.25. And I did see a couple of things and, and actually my mom said, oh, just put it on my bill, you know, whatever, because it was not that much. So she treated me to some stuff at the Dollar Tree, which was very sweet of her. And yes, I was very surprised to see that they do have in the uh, now what is like a little mini maternity section because they had baby stuff, but they didn't have like mommy stuff. So they have a maternity section. They had a belly mask, belly cream, and nipple cream. And then in the feminine area where they have the feminine hygiene wash and everything, they had panty spray. Now, if you panties smell, wash them. If your panties are clean and they smell because of you, wash you. I don't get the, I don't get where why you need panty spray. So anyway, I'm going to take you on a little tour of the store. Then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what I got. Tour here. So I could not find the pride, um, what do you call it? Body butters. But I did find two of these prideful erase heat paint love with prideful and these are bubble baths so you have green tea and honey something in citrus and lavender and sandalwood and then this one is look how clean the shelves are um this is i don't know what color, what bergamot and coriander orange and mango and what is this red one bergamot and coriander i don't know this is all i could find i can't i don't seem to be able to find anything else so i have to show you guys these things that i never thought that i would see at a dollar tree so okay so they have these maternity things and the one is a belly mask but check out this can you use this as like a regular person look at that nipple balm I didn't notice on there's this more nipple balm look they have also they have belly balm scary so they have some of these softy brand shampoos and conditioners we have olive honey lavender and mango and then up here we have the same ones in the conditioners. Here we have some interesting stuff. Look, we got, this is interesting. Dragonfly Bath and Body, lavender, fragrance free, pink lemonade. And then over here, look, we have one island coconut. I bet that smells really good. These are new. They have these Live Clean Super Fruit Quitching Curls Shampoo. And then we have Volumizing Shampoo. They have lots of these drink bottle options. And let me tell you something. I love these. I use them all the time. You put your drink in them and then you put this little cap on with the straw. It doesn't come out because it has a little stopper. And you can put your drink in this and it's better than putting it in a glass because you don't have to worry about knocking it over. You can be watching TV or doing whatever you're doing and you got your handy dandy bottle and 
you can just use this. This is your one in a melon. The only thing that I will say about these is they do discolor after a while if you're going to use something in them other than water. And then also if you tip the bottle over and you accidentally step on the straw, it will break in half. So um, good deal for $1.25, but you know, just you might want to stock up on a few. All right, so they have some other cups. Now, I don't know who would use these. So you have these giant ice cream cones and it's a cup. Yeah, but I don't think this top stays on too secure. You got these over here, and then you have your luau ones, and then these. These are actually cute. This, this is so cute. Your one in a melon with the straw that goes around. It's pretty. So they have this super cool section for Juneteenth with lots of interesting decorations. This is really nice. Somebody put something in there. And then you have this option here. So yeah, you have you have some really nice Juneteenth options if you are interested. So they have these super cute dog toys. I wanna to get this one for Malcolm, but I'm just weary about anything that's made in China. They have this one and then they have this one and they all squeak. So they have some really cute hair things. So they have these troll hair clips and this is, whoa, this is cute, it's a scrunchie, but it's like denim. And we have like those back there and then they have this one. These are super nice. I don't know if I'd wear these. some frozen clips if you're into that I don't see anything in the way of a pride section here so yeah so in the soda aisle they have this Fago soda which is not popular here in New York I forget where it's from it's real popular in one of the states so they have the twist one and then they have the delicious cotton candy which has got 35 grams of sugar and this has got 140 calories yeah look in the candy aisle they have rainbow gummy sharks I love these little hardcover notebooks that they have for Juneteenth these make great gifts and they're also really handy to throw in your purse I bought this one last year and gave it away to a friend I don't know which one I want. I want to use this one for myself, but then maybe get these for a friend, possibly. So I love the feminine aisle because just wash yourself, you know, like, okay. So they have that and then they have this. Wash your underwear. You don't need panty spray and this stuff. Uh, and there's only one left. So apparently somebody's been spraying a panty spray. Let's spray, let's see how it smells. No. Oh, here, you got some more panty spray over here. And then they have the Bedhead Rockaholic, which I'm a big fan of their hairspray, but this is just the dry shampoo. Okay, so, I'm like done with the Freeman stuff as far as masks, but for those of you who are interested, they have Canadian hemp seed clay mask. What is this? It's sweet tea and lemon peel off clay mask. Then we have oil absorbing mint and lemon. And then you have the cosmic metallic peel off mask. And then we have some other masks you have your bubble face mask and your foot mask and then you've got your belly stuff over here 
they have, this is interesting. Kissable Deep Cleansing Foaming Acne Scrub. I don't have acne, thank God, most of the time. Okay, and then besides this, from this company, I also found the Kissable Oatmeal Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Um, I, both of these are sealed, so I can't tell you what they smell like. And then they have the Derma Geek Gentle Facial Cleanser, which is also sealed. Oh, and then they have one, one of this Crystal Waters Nourishing Body Butter in Rose Scented, but the last thing I need is another Rose Scented Body Butter, so put that there. And then they have this Be Pure Company Gentle Skin Cleanser. It says compare to Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser from Dry to Normal Sensitive Skin. Hmm, never heard of it. So this is interesting. By the checkout counter, look, they do have some just knocking down stuff. They have this prideful five-piece facial mask set. Interesting. They have these super cute bags. Look. Vacay mode. Beach bum in. They are so cute. It's like I want one of each, but I'm not going to get one of each. Those are the ones they have. Okay, so let's see some of the stuff that I picked up at the store. Now, let me just say that I'm glad that the Dollar Tree is celebrating the 4th of July, uh, Memorial Day, and uh, summer, and they're also celebrating Juneteenth. I think that's all great. They, some stores have a pride section, other stores, I've actually never seen a pride section they they never they're never in my neck of the woods but supposedly and, and i've seen pictures from uh years past it's very hard to find any kind of pride stuff so i it's kind of sad that they devote these um these entire giant sections to fourth of july and juneteenth and then you know pride they just kind of throw it here or there you know anyway let me show you what I picked up. Okay, so this sticker, I can't actually stick this on my wall because I don't know how I would get it off. It says removable. It says removable. But I want to make sure that it is removable before I put it on my wall because I live in an apartment and anything I stick on the wall, I have to make sure I can take it off. I saw this such a long time ago. Somebody had hauled this and I've been looking for it forever. And finally, finally found it. I never get these wall decals, but I really wanted this one. And it says, it, it says, wash your hands and say your prayers because Jesus and germs are everywhere. So this is like for the bathroom. Then I got this uh, Skinny Pop kettle corn. This is the smaller bag. Every time I go to the supermarket, they never have the skinny pop in the kettle corn. They always have the plain, the butter, the black pepper and sea salt, and the lime and something. I can never find the kettle corn. So I got a mini uh, kettle corn. I picked up a bottle of water. I wanted to try this water. It's fancy. This is eternal, naturally alkaline spring water. And then, you know, I don't know how my mom's paper clips got in my bag. I'm going to have to take these out and give these to her. So my mom wanted... Did she want three... Four. I knew she told me she wanted so she, my mom got a whole ton of paper clips why she needs this many paper clips I do not know but there's these are by jot and there's 80 in a pack and they ended up in my bag instead of hers so I'm gonna have to put those on on the side for her I needed um some scotch tape so I got this uh jot 
invisible uh, mailing tape. I did end up getting this because I've I heard uh, couponing for a cause talk about this that it's actually supposed to be uh, a higher end product. So I'm gonna try the Derma Geek uh, fragrance free gentle facial cleanser. I'm always looking for a good face wash. Then I did pick up, I know I don't need any more shower stuff, but this smells so different than let's say like the watermelon lemonade from Bath and Body Works. And it smelled really unique. So I wanted to get it. Uh, this is the Dragonfly Bath and Body, carefully formulated without sulfates, dyes, or parabens, foam bath with natural fragrance extract. And this is in pink lemonade. And it does smell exactly like pink lemonade. Exactly. So I decided to pick that up. I got um, some cutlery. I don't know. The green struck me. So a uh, 48 uh, piece cutlery set because I'm running out of cutlery. Although I don't use a whole lot of cutlery because I, I make a lot of sandwiches and, and stuff like that. I picked up the scrunchie. Uh, I think this is good for 4th of July. And also if you're wearing like a denim type outfit, I like the fringe. It gives like a, a Western type feel and then it has this cow kind of print. I got these because, why not? I stopped buying lip balm for a long time, but these were just so cute. I decided to try them out. This is the two pack of the Crystal Waters lip balm in strawberry scented and grape scented. So I did not open these in the store. I didn't want to rip the packaging, but I ripped the packaging. So let's see what they smell like. So this is, it's got the little glue thing. See that? The little glue booger thing. Malcolm is my, my dog. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. It's just a clear lip balm. It's hard to see. Oh, but it smells really good. The, so the strawberry smells like strawberry like uh juicy fruit and the grape oh it smells like grape laffy taffy so really highly scented so i'm gonna put these back in here i gotta say the packaging lured me in and i think it's luring my dog in because he is super super interested in what i'm doing yeah, so those are the lip balms. Not much left in here. I picked up two of the, the Ioni. These are the fat lip chubby sticks. These are uh, like lip crayons. And I do like the lip crayons, except, you know, whether they're by this company or Wet n Wild, they have a tendency to um, break or, you know, just snap off because you roll them up, you know. So this one is uh, Ioni and it's his lip liner and lipstick in one. And this is Kimono Cherry. And then they had one other, there you can see the color there. And then they had one other one and it's, uh, Mexico pink. So those are the ones I got. I picked up two of these little makeup pouches because I put, like in my bag, if you put lipstick loose in your bag, sometimes the cap comes off. Sometimes like with the lip crayons, they break. So I, you know, I don't need to carry like, let's say I'm not carrying a whole bunch of makeup. I'm just carrying like two or three lipsticks and I don't want them floating around in my bag. It's easy to throw them into a little pouch. So I got this one that says girl boss. 
And then I got this one that says Vibe Check Positivity Only. They only had one left of this one. This one has seemed to be really popular. Let's see, we're almost at the end. I picked up these uh, hair clips. I think I could put one here, here. Uh, they're these pearl clippies. I might keep this at my desk or I might give this away as a gift. I like gifting these inspirational books. I use them as stocking stuffers at Christmas. I throw them into birthday gifts. They just make a really nice extra thing. Not all of them are religious. Some of them are just general, you know, poems and things of inspiration. And it just makes a little extra nice thing to stick in a gift. So this says she believed she could, so she did. Little reminders and inspiration to never stop believing in your in yourself. And so it says, accept no one's definition of your life. Define yourself. Harvey Firestein. That's interesting. And it says, great things happen to those who don't stop believing, trying, learning, and being grateful. Roy T. Bennett. Yeah, so it has just like these inspirational things, you know. It has these little inspirational poems. And like I said, I stopped buying these because uh, I had a bunch. And then I gifted the ones that I had because that's what I bought them for, for gifts. So I'll save the Juneteenth for last. I picked up one more bottle like this. Like I said, I use, I literally use one of these bottles all the time because I am a klutz. And if you rest this on something, this is sealed. This has a little straw. The straw does not pop out. It has a little stopper. You lean this on something, if it tips over, only a couple of drops is gonna seep out before you're able to turn the bottle back over again. So I love these. I always keep a couple on hand. The, the only bad thing about them, like I said, is if you use them for a long time and you put like iced tea or something in it, it will discolor. And then the other thing is I've had times where I've left this like, you know, I've tripped over it, I've knocked it on the floor, and then I've stepped on the, br the brush, the straw and snapped the straw. Once you snap the straw, that's it. So I just got one. I got the one with the flamingos. It says, be flamazing. So I just picked up one. And then for Juneteenth, let me tell you, the Juneteenth section at Dollar Tree, I think, is a small section, but it's a nice section. If you are thinking about getting a Juneteenth gift for someone or commemorating Juneteenth with someone, I would say pick up the stuff now when you see it because it will sell out and disappear. And then you won't be able to find the Juneteenth stuff on near Juneteenth. As you get closer to Juneteenth, it's going to disappear. Can't snap my finger. It's going to disappear. And that's it. So I always, even last year or the year before, I, I got stuff and saved it for the following year for people who commemorate Juneteenth. So I did pick up. I couldn't decide which cup I like better. And I might keep these for myself or I might gift them. They are so nice. So the one with the fist that says 1865, it's just a plastic tumbler. It's just a really nice design. And then this one, this is also really nice. It's more subdued. It says, celebrate Juneteenth. It's June 19th, 1865, a day of remembrance. So I just like them both. I thought they were so nice. Now, the one that I bought last year, the notebook that I bought last year, the year before, was this one. This is Juneteenth Freedom Day. And these are great because these fit in your wallet, not in your wallet, your pocket, in your bag, and they're hardcover, and they have the little strap, and you can write in them, and they're really cool. And I actually gave this exact one, not this exact one, because I obviously I just bought it today, but the same design notebook to a friend for Juneteenth. So I really like this one. This one with the just the colors that doesn't say Juneteenth, 
I might keep this one for myself. I just, it's a little bit more, um, I don't know, subdued. It's a little more art, artsy. And then uh, there's this one that says, Celebrate Freedom Juneteenth. Yeah, so this is Juneteenth Freedom Day. And this says Celebrate Juneteenth. No, Celebrate Freedom Juneteenth. So I got the three of them. Like I said, I'm probably going to keep this one for myself and gift the other two because I know um, quite a few people who celebrate Juneteenth. So that'll be nice for them. So that's everything. Yep. So I did not, surprisingly, I did not buy the nipple cream or the panty spray. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I have to make sure I put these on the side to give them to my mom. Um, and thank her for the lovely uh, items that she gifted to me. So remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land and have a blessed day.